In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can modify the custom themes that are associated with your gallery. So to get started, we're going to go into the marketing area and then into the gallery colors and styles screen. Within the gallery colors and styles, we can see a few different options that are already available to us, but we'll go ahead and scroll down below those and click the create and customize your themes here option. The theme editor will open and display your default gallery homepage. So to get started, since we're looking at the gallery grid, we're going to go ahead and customize the gallery grid. Within the gallery grid options, we can choose between a flexible layout, which allows the images to resize automatically based on the size of the device and the number of galleries that you have, or we can choose a fixed aspect ratio, which allows us to choose between square, 4x3, 3x2, 3x4, and 2x3 aspect ratios. If we choose any of these options, we can see the effect immediately in the editor, and you can scroll through them to see what each of them would look like for your own galleries. We also have the option to change the spacing between the images, the borders, and the labels. Now for the labels, we can choose to either display the labels over the image, like you can see in this example here, or we can choose to display them below the images, as you see in this example here. In addition to choosing where the labels are displayed, we can also enable or disable the dates and the locations. If we were to click into one of these galleries, you can see the splash screen for the gallery. If we wanted to change the splash screen, we can go into the Customize the Splash Screen page, and we can make several different changes to that depending on what we'd like it to look like. Clicking further into the gallery, we can view a few different buttons and some text, and if we wanted to change those, we can do those through Customize the Buttons, Customize the Colors, and Customize the Basics. We'll explore some of these options in a minute, but for now we're going to go ahead and click into this gallery to view the images within it. Now that we're viewing the gallery, we can see what a lot of the different changes are going to do. So I'm going to click into Customize the Colors, and if we wanted to change the background color, we just click the background color option, change the color, and then click off of the color selection. If you'd like some help determining which of the color options changes which of the areas within your storefront, just hover your mouse over the color options and you can see a green bubble in the sample area below. If we want to fine tune things a little bit further, we can click on the simple button, it switches over to advanced, and we can add different options for a few of the individual sections by themselves. I'll go ahead and reset us back to the defaults. And then I'll go ahead and show you a couple of different options as well. If we want to modify our category grid, click on this option here. It'll highlight the section on the side. And you can choose from similar options to what we selected for the gallery grids. For example, we can choose the flexible layout or a fixed aspect ratio layout, where you can choose the different sizing for your images, their spacing, their borders, and their labels. There are quite a few additional options available to you through the theme editor, but once you have it all set up the way that you'd like it to be, click Save As, give it a name, I'll call this one my new theme, and click Save. And then to apply that theme to your galleries, you head back to your admin site, we go into our galleries, and then if you have just a specific gallery that you'd like it to apply to, click on the name of the gallery, scroll down to the themes, and select the theme. This one here is the new one that I just created, my new theme. Click Save, and that theme will now be displayed when someone visits that gallery. You can make each gallery have their own theme if you'd like, or you can set up themes within your gallery types, and you can also set a default gallery for your entire storefront as a whole. I hope that helps you get started with the themes, but if you have any questions, shoot us an email at support at instaproofs.com.